Most of us spend most of our time indoors. Some, like infants and seniors, spend over 90% of their time indoors. The EPA estimates that harmful microparticles are two to five times more indoors than outdoors. In developing countries, an MIT study estimates that this problem is even more severe. I suffer from allergies myself, so I literally had skin in the game. Current filtration systems are large and expensive. My search for a solution was a two steps forward, one step back journey. At first, when I heard that indoor succulent plants can act as natural air purifiers, I thought, let me try to build a prototype with them. It did work, but showed that to make a real dent in the air quality, you need a lot of plants. But wait, if plants have this effect due to cuticular wax on their leaves, can I just mimic that? But to scale to real life-size rooms, I need to improve my surface area to air volume ratio. What if I recirculate the air over and over on the surface? I need an air exchange system. My experience showed me that innovation does not always happen in a single eureka moment, but mostly happens incrementally, step by step in small changes, and one needs to keep pushing. And collaboration with mentors and peers helps in that. My three mentors showed me that collaboration is not just sharing ideas, but includes encouragement and even conflicting ideas to get closer to the best idea that takes you to the next step. I hope my innovation brings the world one step closer to more easily available air purification systems. The ones built today are not for those who really need it.